Drones and Dogs here. Welcome back to the channel. Alright now guys, as you can see, I'm back in the RC cave. It's going down. We got a nice unboxing that we got going on here today. And uh, I think you guys might like this one. I, actually, I think you guys might just be interested in this one. So stick around. Um, this is the NQ or INGQ RC truck. It's a 112 scale, ready to run, completely ready to run vehicle, which means, what does ready to run mean? Means you get the battery for the vehicle, for the RC car, you get the remote and the charger. Now, a lot of hobby great stuff that I have around here, you don't get the charger for, or the battery, you have to buy the battery and the charger separate, like most of the expensive hobby great stuff. Some of these cheaper RCs, are really nice because they come completely ready to run and that's nice especially if you're getting into the hobby and you're a beginner and you're getting your first RC car and you're not sure if you want to dump two three hundred dollars into something like let's say you don't want to dump 300 bucks into something like this here and you wanted to see if you just and like you like to enjoy the hobby first you might want to get something like this here to start out with and you might you, you might not be sure if you want to spend two three hundred dollars on this like right here but this guy will definitely get you started right out the box comes completely ready to run it's a 12 scale vehicle it's an rc monster truck it's four wheel drive um servo fully functional shocks now i'm not sure but they're probably not going to be oil filled i don't think so but we'll see when we get into there it's a 7.4 volt 1800 milliamp hour battery comes with it and it's going to come with the charger 12 scale of course got some specifications here on the side of the box just to let you know, it's a 12 scale, the length and the width of it, uh, the wheel width and all that good stuff. Only thing you gotta need for this system is you're gonna need three AA batteries. That's the only thing they don't provide you with. All right, guys? So with all that being said, we're gonna check out this NQ112 monster truck. All right, let me get my knife here and we'll cut this guy open and get this guy out of the box, get the battery on the charger and see what this guy is all about, guys. You know, I'm not too much one for the, too much of the j j Jabba John. So I'm ready to get this guy out of the box to see what it does. <sighs> box is off, guys. And uh, the feeling of getting that new RC is something tremendous. Let me tell you guys, when you open the box of the new RC, it is something like a, it's a great feeling. You know what I'm saying? I can't describe it. So let's take these two off. We have a, uh, a warranty right here. Activate your warranty, that's cool. So you get, look like you get a little bit of customer service. And that's a bonus. You don't get that with a lot of these budget RC vehicles. So look here, you have your instructions. You have your charger. And you also have, you have like a wrench to take the tires off. You have an extra set of body clips, it looks like. And you have some also, you also have the body clips for the main body. Oh no, the body clips for the main body are actually underneath there. So they, and you have some extra body clips like you have, I'm not really sure what that is. Oh, you got some extra, um, some extra arms or extra dog bones. That's pretty cool. They gave you some extra, nice extra parts there. Extra dog bones, drive shafts is what that looks like. You got some extra drive shafts in there just in case you might break some, I'm, get, I'm guessing. That's pretty cool. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna have an exploded view of the truck inside should you need to work on it. So that's really nice. And the charger is just a USB to that balance lead. So if you don't have a hobby grade charger, you're just beginning out, you're gonna, it's gonna take you a few hours to charge that battery. I will say that, probably three, four hours. So I would recommend getting a hobby grade charger after you run your first truck for a minute and make sure you really like the hobby before you go dumping money into a hobby grade charger. But we're gonna get this off now. The body is already off, okay? It has the body clips underneath. The truck was really nice too. This is a nice body. Looks like we got some uh, film, plastic film on there. We'll leave that on there for the first couple of runs, but this is a nice solid body. Seems to be pretty flexible and durable, so should uh, absorb, absorb some nice impacts with this body. And you guys know blue is my favorite, favorite color. So here's the truck, man. Here's the truck right there, man. Look at that there. Look at that there. So before we get 
everything else out of the box. Let's go ahead and take a look at the truck here since they already have it open up for us, you know? So, yeah, def I, don't, I don't think that's no oil fill shocks. I don't know, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I think there's no oil in there. So, um, you know what? I have to uh, take these off and get into there. Definitely check it out. No, that's bouncy. Those are just friction shocks, yeah. But you know what? It's not, it's actually not too bad. The tire compound is rather grippy. You know, I don't think there's no foam in there, but it may, you know what? It may be some foam inserts, I don't know. But the tires are soft and grippy, so they should do rather well on the road. You got some heat sink covering the motor there, and that is a 390 brush motor there. And you have our battery here. We have a Dean's connector, nice hobby grade connector. So let's see, it has a five wire servo. So if you want to do any upgrades like brushes, you're gonna to have to take, you're gonna to have to replace all the components because of that five wire servo. So you're gonna to have to get a three wire servo and all that good stuff. If you wanted to replace anything, looks like we have some open spots for some LED lights. If you wanted to put some LED lights in there. You know, I actually think I got a setup from one of my other cars I might use. But yes, you want to put some LED lights in there. And they also got two buckets up here for the lights. So you can stick the light pods in there, have some lights in that joker. You know, I might experiment with that from, I think I got some lights from one of my Subaru techs. So yeah, five wire servo. Here's the servo there. Uh, no, I mean, ESC there. I'm sorry, here's your ESC. Here's your steering servo there, you know. Full proportional throttle, full proportional steering, battery tray. So it looks like this battery tray, you can actually stick a larger size battery in there. And I actually think I have some larger ones that I uh, can use for my WL toys. So that's nice, you can stick a larger size battery in there. It's a bigger battery tray. And it seems like it has a locking mechanism inside the battery tray. The battery that they give you is a 7.4 volt, 1800 milliamp hour battery with the Dean's connector, a little T-plug connector. So that's pretty nice, guys. I mean, this vehicle doesn't seem too bad. Now they got the body clips underneath, so they already had it prepared for you to go ahead and take the body off of this, which is not too bad, because this is what it looks with the body on. So we'll go ahead and just actually take these clips off of here and let you guys see it. Guys, now, I didn't tell you the price. This is another thing where I'll tell you why you might like this vehicle, guys. It was priced at 100 bucks. On Amazon, ninety-nine dollars. That is a great deal for a twelve-scale vehicle. Let me tell you that, especially that's you know where you can upgrade it and stuff. That is a great deal for a twelve-scale vehicle. But but it had a fifty percent off coupon, guys, making this guy like underneath fifty bucks for like a twelve-scale vehicle, guys. So like fifty bucks of some tax out the door for a twelve-scale ready-to-run RC car. That's not bad, guys. That's really not bad. So I'm kind of interested to see how this guy is going to perform. And it looks really good, to be honest. It looks really good. looks well made. Um, I like the body. I like the color. If I can get this body on and show you how it looks with the body on. And we can go from there and go into looking at the transmitter and stuff like that. See what it looks like. But here is the body. So... Alrighty, that's the body guys. So here is how it looks with the body on. Decent with the truck, man. It looks like a little like a little a little Ford F-150 or something like that with some monster truck tires on it. Look at that guys. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go ahead and set that off. Got our battery right there. 2S battery. And now let's see what else we have inside of this box. Dropping my body pins all over the floor there. So, last but not least, we have the transmitter, guys. It looks like it has some foam on the steering wheel, which is always nice. But, but, it's pretty, 
packed in there. Ooh. I didn't do that. So here's the steering wheel. I mean, transmitter. All in its glory. I thought I just dropped it out of the box. So, looks like we have steering trim here. Got a couple LEDs. Indicator, a green and a red LED indicator. It feels a little bit cheaply made, but it's not not too bad though. Look at that. Spring uh spring loaded steering. The so springs back, spring action into place. That's pretty nice. I like that. The spring action, so that's not too bad. And the foam on the steering wheel actually feels pretty good. The way it feels. Okay, no clicking there. So it's full proportional steering and throttle. Got looks like we have an on and off switch right here. Yep, on and off switch here, and then it says uh, steering trim, and that's it. Pretty much, pretty simple, basic transmitter. There's no other buttons on here. Going to need three AA batteries for this guy to get this guy up and ready, guys. So, without all the jabber jar, we're going to get this guy ready. This is the um, NQ-112 scale. What's the model number of this guy? Because I know a lot of you are going to ask, what is the model or number of this guy? See, it has whole metal bearings, metal shock absorber, pneumatic tires, high brush motor, 390. Um, the model number, the model number is, okay, there we go. The model number for this guy is the SL119A, guys. The SL119A, four wheel drive, guys. All right, NQ, bye y'all. So let's get this boy charged up. We're gonna go forward. Catch you guys outside. All right, guys. So we are here with this little 112 scale truck from NQ. Uh, I forgot the model name, but I'll have it up in the title. You guys will know it. Um, so I forgot to mention as well, the on and off switch is actually underneath here. I didn't mention that on the table review. It's actually, there, there it is right there. You can see it right there, on and off switch. So, so let's go ahead and just do a quick run in this thing. This is my first run. And we're gonna see if this guy is worth the 50 bucks or not, guys. What do you say? If I can get this guy turned on. Give me a second. This guy turned on real quick. Ah. All right, there we go. So, full proportional steering. So, full proportional throttle. We're just gonna see what this guy does. There is no throttle trim or nothing like that. Definitely, yeah, definitely gotta adjust my steering sound. Let me get it over here for a second. See this guy. See, see which way I gotta see which way I gotta get this steering adjust. Give me a second. There we go. Alright, I think I'm good now. Now it's going off to the other way just a tad. Alright, let's get it over here. There we go, I think I got it. Uh, I think I got it now. Not perfect, but I think I got it. Enough that we can do this run, let's do this. Let's full throttle here, ooh, spent out. I like the way this little thing looks. Full throttle going this way. Now they're saying 45 kilometers an hour, definitely I could tell it's not that. Maybe, maybe 30 kilometers an hour. Not going too bad though. Look at it. Actually, not going too bad. Fifty bucks, guys. Throw some oil filled shocks on here. You be in a game. Ooh, what was that? What was that right there? Did I hit? Some? What was that right there? Piece of glass or something out there. Look at that right there. Piece of, uh, piece of glass. Probably can't see. Oh yeah, it's not going too bad. I did bring the ramp out. Maybe hit a few mile jumps with it. Woo! Yeah, 
It's not going too bad at all. 50 bucks? Not even bad at that $100 price. I think the original price was $99 without the sale. But I caught it with the coupon deal off Amazon. So that put this guy right at $50. Which is not bad. Full throttle going that way. We do a full throttle pass coming back this way. Let's come back this way. Full throttle. Yeah, not too bad. Actually, not going too bad at all. Yeah, I like this. Like I said, you can get the little hop up parts online, get the oil fill shots and stuff like that. You even throw a brush system in there. If you really wanted to, I might do that. I don't know. That little 390 motor is not going too bad though. And I did charge this battery on my hobby grade charger. So it only took me like 20 minutes with that to charge it. But if you use that little uh, USB charger, it's gonna take you a couple hours, guys. Yeah, this thing is not going too bad at all. My first run of it. All right, let's go over here. Let's hit the ramp with it. I got the ramp over here. Let's hit a few mile jumps with it if we can. Oh yeah. Woo. Hopefully I'm getting it on camera for you guys. That's a good one. Going. She's going through some pretty thick grass there, too. Ooh, I totally missed it there. I totally missed it there. Fire. <laughs> A little off-road test for you there. That grass is pretty thick, too. She's not going too bad through that thick grass at all. I'm still a beginner with the RCs, guys. I gotta definitely work on my ramping skills for you guys. I can't do no flipping and dipping like I, a lot of these guys be doing. Uh, woo, let me get this flipped over. All right, we're back. Got it flipped over. But yeah, I'm still learning a lot. Ooh, get the ramp on my way. Still learning a lot with these RC cars, so that's why I like picking up these beginner ones showcasing them to you guys because I'm actually still learning them myself so I'm letting you know if these are good because I'm a beginner giving you the beginners inside of them. That was a good job there. So it's these this is it's definitely coming from beginner. Okay I'm back. My camera died on me for a second. But yeah it's definitely coming from a beginner standpoint of view when I tell you guys my opinion on these trucks or how they run when I tell you they're beginner friendly this is definitely a budget vehicle that's definitely worth it. Fire. Like I said, we hit some few mile jumps with it. See how it holds up. Hopefully I'm getting them good on the camera for you guys. Fire. It's actually jumping pretty decent too. To be honest, it's jumping pretty decent. Handling the off-road real well. For a little 390 motor, I'm kinda, fire. I'm kinda impressed. We'll do a couple more jumps, one or two more jumps, and we'll wrap this up. For the first, ooh, first run, gotta get a better jump in than that, though. 
can't end it on a jump like that. Got to get a better jump in than that. Come on, Jonga, dog. You do a little bit better than that. Of course. They ain't going to let me get a good jump in now. Since I done said that. Guys, this is actually running pretty good. Woo! I ain't gonna lie to y'all, it's running pretty good. Fire, that was a good one then. Come on down the curve. All right, guys, so that was just the first run of this NQ or INGQ 112 scale RC monster truck, guys. For the price, I actually think it's pretty decent, man. To be honest, it's handling pretty well, off-roaded pretty well, guys. You know, we'll definitely follow up. Uh, I think I probably want to get this guy to the skate park, see how it handles the jumps at the skate park. And uh, I don't know, man, I'll maybe follow up, put a uh, Brussels motor in there, maybe throw some oil field shocks on it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, guys, but for the price, great budget vehicle, man. Uh, appreciate you guys for watching. I'm your boy, Drone the Dogs. Stay tuned for more videos. Catch you guys in the next episode. I'm out. Doses.